this journey with him reminds me so much when my father was a shulman and he went to Budapest to see the rabbi in 1940, it must have been in 1943 with all the ghettos and the, and the fascists and the journey to Budapest was absolutely horrendous. And my father was going on his own and when I heard of, I heard about this, I would like to go as well. And the court said, no, you can't come, you can't come. But I wouldn't listen. So I was crying, shouting and screaming. I must have been a real, a real little terror I must have been when I was young. I never, can't believe it. And they said, all right, we can go. I can go with my father. And on condition that we'll each take a chicken each to help, to help with our costs and everything else because chickens in those days were practically unavailable, especially in Budapest. So you were going to sell the chickens on the black market? Sell the chicken oh, on I the thought you were going to eat them. But kosher. Yeah. But of course, once, it, once the police would have found out about it, they would have been in trouble, especially being Jewish as well. So I just said, I can go. I said, I, I said to my mum, I said, you know what, mum? Make me a chicken as well. I'll carry it with me as well. He said, but you mustn't carry me. You mustn't catch you. They'd be in trouble. So, never mind, I'll take one with as well. But when we got to the Budapest airport, of course, all the hub hub there, never having been there. At the station. At the station. Of course, there were no Jews at all. Hardly any. And my father was there with a beard and me with a place, terrified, looking and you know, taking a mickey out of us. But you, but you said that all the Jews were in the ghetto, so you weren't supposed ghetto, to be. But but yeah, but you're allowed. You were allowed out. Oh, okay. It's only the ghetto was a, initially. You had to live in a certain area. Right. You could go out all day long, and eventually you couldn't. You couldn't go out from the ghetto after night, nightfall. Yeah. So you you, you could go out until until nightfall. And of course, uh, we said we couldn't walk out together if both of us carry something illegal. It would be in terrible trouble. So my father said, you go there and wait for me. And of course, needless to say, I was absolutely terrified. What will I see him again and what will happen? And of course, uh, that's, that went off all right. Until I got, we got to the hotel. Not to the hotel, to the flat that we stayed. Where did you stay? We went to see the rabbi, the Belgian rabbi, because my father wasn't well. So he wanted to have a bit of his straw from the rabbi's bed and take it back home and put it in the pillow. Hopefully that will help the healing. And of course we stayed in the room, I'm not really sure what room, but it must have been on the fourth floor. But I think this is in my book. And I thought, I said, floor? I mean, obviously we lived in, 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 in a bungalow. In a bungalow, yeah. And once I saw stairs, now I said, that my well, dad took the lift and said, I'm going to run upstairs. I started running one stairs, not there. The second stairs a bit huffing. I'd come to the third, I couldn't walk. I said, what's going on here? How come you can't, you can't run up the stairs as well as you could run straight? <laughs> and that was one. And of course, the other instance was a toilet. A flushing toilet, because the toilet back home was, was a, a, a shovel or a hole. And every, every few weeks used to be emptied. <laughs> Uh, a guy, a drunkard guy, used to come and dig a big hole in the garden and clean the toilet. But he said, here you don't. What you do is, when you're finished, you clean yourself and you pull that chain and the water will flush. I said, what do you mean? Well, how does it work? Never saw a flushing toilet. And he said, all right. So I went to the toilet and when I finished, I pulled the chain and it started. And obviously, it could not take me more than about two or three seconds. And I thought to myself, what have I done? You've got to be flooded here. I've run out <laughs> from there. Okay. We, we take all these things so much for granted. Yeah. 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 Hello, what's up? We're phone, phoning now. Videoing. Videoing, you hold up. <laughs> yeah, so what's your well, thoughts? Well, that's one. My thoughts are. That what's your thoughts so far? About at the moment, mixed thoughts. Once you start talking to people, it takes your mind off it. But the only thing that I found very, very, a bit... I'm not quite sure what term it is, but not harrowing. I remember the weather, exactly the same weather we had when we arrived in Auschwitz. We fell off from the train and my stomach ache. Also just as well as beautiful as this. So it's quite hot and warm. Warm, yes. Which is now as well. 
That was sort of summer. Was it summer of 44? The 44. Summer 44. So well, in this, so we've got a guide. Show us the tell us yes, about the, the guide. guide. Well, this is a guide which uh, the uh, Scott, the leader, gave. It's a very, very, very informative guide. Unbelievably full of full of very useful information. So it's got our whole itinerary. All the places we're visiting. All, uh, all the itinerary, where we're going. And then where's your story in there? So so the the of the Jews. The and all the survivors are coming on this on this trip are in the book as well, including myself. Yeah, they seem to be seem to be famous, especially now with all the Pesach. Uh, uh, what the Jews care that for the Pesach appeal, they seem to be everywhere now. Well, I'm Billy, Billy, Billy Austin. Austin, yes, that's right. Well, he came to see us American uniform because he went to America. Well, do, we, do you know, Clark, do you know something? Because I've always asked a question, and he, sorry, asked the children a question. Yes. And they always ask me, do you hate the Germans? Right. So I stopped and he goes, and he said, wait a minute, so why should I hate the Germans only? The Hungarians, the yes. Lithuanians, yes. the Romanians, the But do you hate all of them? Exactly. That's right. I can't you keep can't on, either. No. You can't so, keep so on that's saying right. I hate well, this, this statue. Is made of marble from Sweden, which is Germans. Granite. Pardon? Granite. Granite. Yeah. It's supposed to be made by uh, for the for the glory of Hitler, but of course yes. he, he died just before he could start on it. So instead, they made it into the Jewish. Uh, the Russians made it into the uh, a memorial to the Warsaw Ghetto. Gentlemen, this, these are the Polish school children. They give it a tour about the. Uh, that's okay. also get up by the uh, regularly um, see that they simply yeah, seem to keep up with the provision of uh, proper uh, funerals. So where are we, Dab? Pardon? I've got the video, so where are we? Oh, we are at the uh, Warsaw Cemetery. The, 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 the one and only Warsaw Cemetery. It's yeah. absolutely huge. And like yeah. exactly like back in Hungary, I find this far more sad and and uh, evocative, is it, than 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 old synagogues and old 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 buildings. All these all these tens of thousands of stones, the amount of money, but not so much the money, which is silly, but the amount of uh, heartache and love or whatever it is. But a lot of this, a lot of these were part of the Polish community before the war. Yes, so the, of the, vi the vibrancy of the exactly. community I mean, going, and the size of it. This goes back about 150 years old. No, um, more than that. It must more? be a few hundred years. But look, the untold amount of, semi of, of, of uh, graves. It's, it's time it's that you realise the, the magnitude of the tragedy. The, the destruction. The destruction. got to the hotel we've had a long day yeah and I just thought I'll come and film your reflections of and, the day oh yes and also what about what about the film the uh, side lovely view look at the view we've got if you don't want the picture of the view here we go that's a nice picture of view from the room that's Warsaw it is Warsaw isn't it that we're in yeah yes okay. Yes, one thing you want to get there, you know, you know, you got tea, you got tea and coffee there in yeah. the in the cupboard. So, what do you want to know about the? Well, how have you found it your first time? I found it absolutely amazing. I, I think the only thing is a bit too much. It was a bit too too much to do. But but I, but I managed. Funny enough, you know, it was a bit sort of tough at times. But I, I think I, I managed. To, don't you think so? You did very well. Um, but uh, the whole thing was exceptionally, exceptionally uh, interesting 
and it's a lot, it worked out a lot better than I thought it would do. Very well organised as well. Very well organised, beautiful set up, and of course the the uh, uh, the site at the cemetery, also cemetery, was just unbelievable. Yeah. Almost hundreds of Israeli girls, hundreds of Israeli policemen, all coming for the for the march of the living. And even the coach for as well is very a, a lovely, lovely few people on the coach and this guy of Lawton is fabulous isn't he? Yeah he's excellent, really good, very yeah. knowledgeable. I'm and sad that my, I'm sad that, that I'm doing this just with you and not my sisters. Yes in exactly, Roger. yes and, I'd love uh, to be there. But, but uh, do you think depending on how it goes maybe next well, year the fall? it's early time yet but also very fortunate with the weather. Yeah. I think the weather has been very kind to us. You see this pair of shoes I bought, a new one for walk, especially for this walking. Nice, yeah. Where from? That's uh, a, what's the name? Uh, yeah, proper walking soles and stuff. Yeah, Clark's. Nice. Comfortable? Yeah, very. So we're going to go for supper. We're going for supper, but I think we best make an early bed after that. Yeah, got a lo another long day tomorrow. Right, day two, we're just leaving. It's about eight o'clock in the morning after having had a very, very interesting evening and I fortunately had quite a good night's sleep because I thought I did an awful lot on Thursday but at the moment it's nice and sunny and they're looking forward to uh, our first full day. Well, I don't know, yeah, but I don't, are you looking forward to going to Magin, Maginic? Uh, my Danik. My Danik. Well, well, I, know, I know what the whole system is. I think, I think I'll be quite all right until Auschwitz. We'll see what, what happens there. But by then, possibly, I would have been with so many people, helpful people, and obviously I think it, it won't be as bad as uh, I feared. I, mean, I hope not. But, but in the meantime, I'm looking forward to the second day, nice and sunny, and hopefully the weather will keep on being nice. Have you got sound? Have you got sound, David, on here? Yeah, yeah. This is something, something unusual, not unusual, wonderful, isn't it? Look, look at this size of it. Where are we? Lublin. Lublin is one of the, one of the world famous uh, heritage of Jewish knowledge and learning. Come from? Oh, John Maytanik. Which was camps. one of the extermination, well, extermination camps. camps. Which I'm afraid that I, uh, I got a bit emotional there. I couldn't go into uh, any of the on the exhibitions there. Pretty hard going. Pretty hard going because it was very very similar to the, the, the last camp I was in. So I'm afraid it was a bit more emotional. Anyway, I decided I won't go to any more. Well, we'll see how um, you are on Saturday. Yeah, wait until I go to, to Auschwitz on, on Sunday and Monday. Yeah, see but how anyway, you at the moment, it's all been tremendously emotional and, and very, very, uh, uh, well, I'm not too sure successful is the right word. You know? Anyway, we, we tried to write you, yeah, ask David to write you an email to give you more details about it. So we we'll, should be able to hear more about it from you, David. 
of your machine. To say before, before David had to change the battery and then went into the shore, that it's, I'm, I'm finding, I'm amazed, I'm walking about in a kipper in Poland. The other Poland's a bit in Poland. <laughs> but I wouldn't do that in England. Very, very... You wouldn't do it in England? Well, I mean, I wouldn't do it. I feel as I don't have to do it in England. No, no, possibly I wouldn't do it in England. But I, I might not do it in Poland either without the group or going wherever we go. But just, uh, just ironic that it is uh, walking about in a kipper in Poland. That's and it. There's, there's Switch your off. <laughs>
So what's your, your, you've got some mixed views about this is Auschwitz and we've just been around the Auschwitz one and the commercialization. Well, the first game here was absolutely shattered. But as, as the more and more the, the tour went on, the more I realized this is not the true Auschwitz that I, I thought I might see. But apparently we're going there later on. That's the one I'm rather worried about. But this place, it is, it's the most heartwarming, wonderful experience. But I wonder if it's a true Auschwitz uh, memorial it should be. I mean, it's such a tremendous, lovely atmosphere. If you pan around here, pan around and see all the people. And this is, and this is only Sunday. And tomorrow, on, on tomorrow, they're talking about all the weather doesn't have hope for. There's over 20,000 people marching. You can imagine the atmosphere was tremendous. Then we were off, off to Birkenau, now, which we're on. That's the one I, I were taken to, so that's the one I feel a bit anxious to go and, and see. But anyway, we got such a tremendous support from the whole coach load of other people that uh, it should make it easy for me. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. But the other thing I want to say, see this uh, ditch along here. A week after I was here in the camp, just walking along in a nice day like today, and all of a sudden, as I well, they saw the gas come along, come on, come on, quick, quick. So of course I came along as well, and they ended up over here in the ditch. So I said, what are you supposed to do? There were Polish uh, prisoners there already, survivors, uh, prisoners. She said, we're supposed to weed the ditch. And suddenly a German comes on the ticket and he says, loss, 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 loss. And as he's saying loss, I start going out. And he starts hitting me. So the Polish Jew pulls me back and says, where are you going? He said loss, arroz, arroz, meaning in Yiddish, arroz means out. Yes. And I thought he said out. He said no, loss means faster, faster. <laughs> well, it's only one of the instances right. to say which I would never... Right. Yeah. Um, by the way, thought, you know, your incapacity to understand the instructions, and of course they did and everything in German and, and, and so on, immediately led the, to people's... And the other day I mentioned about the, the Polish, wor Polish prisoners already working along the track on the other side of that, uh, what's the name is? Watch the train. The, oh, no, the, the, train the, is, the wagon. The wagon yes. is. And that's when he kept on shouting about children, you've got to say you're older and eat all the food. Right. Um, that, just before we were discouraged from the... The right. Well, about one and a half million people, mostly Jews, but not only Jews. Um, but uh, the, perhaps this camp reached its height of. what did he say? Nothing, I'm a messiah, can't do you know all the answers at the moment. You're not, you're not uh, entitled to know the answers. 
So you're, you're trying to start a fight there by the looks of it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was a concrete block on the floor and I fell out from the truck because a terrible tummy ache after that. That's what it was. I, I slept. I no, on one of those there. little things. One there. of the users for me yeah. on either side. Do you remember this being as low as that? Yeah. yeah. I've told you, there's a brick, a yeah, little brick said. there. Yeah, yeah. That's it was. Leapt off the off the trains, are wondering where they were. Perhaps their first glimpse of, of daylight for several days. So dazzled by it all, and, and lots of noise and lots of stuff, uh, and and guards walking along and trying to line them up and get them to do things. Generally speaking, told to leave their suitcases here. You saw pictures, didn't you, of the Sonder Commando uh, coming and uh, sorting through the belongings afterwards. And then once uh, organized here and lined up between men and women, uh, boys and girls, uh, small children all go with the women, uh, younger boys, teenage boys and so on go over to the uh, men. Um, so once lined up there, uh, filing forwards uh, with um, usually doctors, but sometimes not, but usually doctors making a decision about the fitness or otherwise of the individuals. And of course, this is just a glimpse. And as I think Beata said, when you get off the train, you're going to look pretty half dead anyway. Um, so nobody's looking all that healthy and wonderful at that point. They've already been through camps and, and, and ghettos and whatnot. It's completely flopped downstairs. It's a terrible stomach ache. Yeah. I just couldn't think, and they just found a, one of these. Concrete, concrete post. Just to sit down on. Right. Yeah. Until we're asked to keep marching on. Good. Right. That's an after this one. I said to run after my mother. Well, she, she, that was her last gift of life to you. Yeah. yeah. Along the ditch, there's an absolutely thousand of us, and suddenly the commotion. We saw the scissor in the ditch, and all of us absolutely dying to get get hold of it if we possibly could. None of us stared because of dogs and the Germans, and one person did manage to jump for it. And needless to say that the dog got there first. But I don't know how, even at that stage, we're absolutely fallish to get hold of something religious, even if it looked like a scissor. Well, um, why and when, I don't know. By the way, can I go in there? Yeah, come on, yeah. 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 Get our phone number. Yeah, that's what he always says. Oh, that's why he comes. <laughs> 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 David saying about heat in the camps, and I remember the heat was quite awful. In fact, hot heat was worse than cold because yeah. cold you put a clothes on or whatever. Did, but what can you do for your heart? Yeah. And I remember we met our father in the camp out suddenly out of the blue. And we're walking along here. You met, you met your father? My, yeah, walking along here with my brother and father. And no, you know your, your, no, you've been split up from your father. Your father had been in the work yeah, battalion. Yeah, then he found, he was, but <clears throat> eventually we found him here in the camp, nice. out of the blue. 
and we're walking along in a sunny day and we're saying, oh, 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 I would die anything to have a go in there for a cool up. But we knew that anything like that would be complete and utterly death sentence. Yeah. yeah. And one day we're coming along here, I'm walking with my brother, I could see my father in there swimming. And I was horrified, scared. He said, Dad, please come out, come go, don't do come out quick. I'm not I can't remember the the, 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 the end, but I do remember the fear. He, he was in there and swimming. The horrific thing. Pardon? He was in there swimming. Yeah. But what was he doing in there swimming? Cooling. Yeah. But you weren't allowed to do that. Yeah. No, he wasn't. He didn't care. He was just wanted to. Just, but you're not. You're not allowed to do certain things. Yeah. Yeah. But you just do it. He just mad for each other. Come on, this happened automatically, and the other people came along and Sam also. I saw, once I saw him, I thought I'd like him to hold it, the 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 safer tower of the scroll as well, which he said he yeah. did. He would love to hold it as well. But now they're thinking back. It's a shame I didn't sing a song, which I'd love to have sing a song. Yes, sung that would song, be lovely. lovely. It's a shame. I didn't, I didn't think that. I'd love to have done that. So what was it like holding it? Very, very comforting. Did you, did you feel comforting. like you were sort of big, I don't know, coming, I felt a coming sort of to terms with, with God? Did you feel yeah. you were coming to terms yeah. with God? Very much after, so. After everything that you've been through? Very yeah. much so. This is kind of a... A kind of a warmth, a kind of a... Do you, do you mind if I put that on Facebook? Because I took a photograph of that, and I, and I, I felt very touched by that, and that's what I no, felt. That. No, I, that's that's what I felt I, you, you were going what? through. Dad, you. before you say yes, you you negoti what? you've got to negotiate rates, all right? You missed well, the opportunity with Jewish care. No, well, you're, you're in charge. You're a schmutter, I'm in charge. You're a schmutter, Michael. You're a schmutter, Michael, making millions in the schmutter trade, and you just missed the chance of making some money. Well, Hang on, I'm, I'm just going to rewind and wipe that bit where he said, yeah, put it on there. All I can tell you is, I wouldn't say I'm not, I don't like money, but I don't like money, but it's one thing I don't think I want to make money of is this situation. No, 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 no. I was only joking. No, no, money, no, 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 money can be really but, dirty, money can be really dirty, do you know what I mean? There's some things money doesn't come into. No, the only thing what you'd say now is, no, no, come on, it doesn't matter, I'll give you a few, few thousand or something. You should say that, say it. What, not, now? Now. No, we can't, it's, well, not, can't it's not appropriate to talk about money well, here. Oh, well, I'll say to me, you're the coach. It'll be a few thousand Egyptian pounds. No, <laughs> 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 Are we going to be able to go into one of the... But like he said before, you know, humour is the way that they survived in the camps. By, yeah. you know, black, yes. black humour. No, but maybe I'm, you were I'm too not, young I to... I would love to have gone in the, in the coach and show you exactly what happened when he first went in. What do, what do you mean? What do you mean? You know, how when we first went into the one of these blocks, yeah. a couple stood on the middle of the platform, gather around, like five to gather around, gather around. And he said, now, remember one thing, you arrived at a place called Caltrip. He said, don't you ever forget that. And he said, you've been given a number. Don't you Amanda, dare can you forget that number because name doesn't exist. And if you haven't got a number, you haven't got a name and you don't exist. But can I ask you, you know, they try to dehumanize you by just giving you numbers. Yeah. <laughs> they did. did you? No, 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 no. You knew that you were a person. It's just because I tell you you're a nothing, because you're a no human being. You don't have to believe me. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Just because I tell you something doesn't mean it's true. I, that can I make, can I, I know exactly where you're going. Yeah. Do you remember the very, very first hostage that was a Swiss bank or a Swedish bank who took hostage about Sto six people Stockholm. hostage? Stockholm. The Stockholm, Stockholm syndrome, the Stockholm and, syndrome, yeah. And what yeah. happened? They, they aligned themselves with the hostage takers. Exactly. Yes. yes. So you're saying about dehumanizing, they did it so brilliantly yeah. that it was. I think it was 99% successful. There might have been a few who, who, who fought it, but I don't know, I think so. But after the war, I mean, you, when you, did you feel human again? When did you start feeling the unhuman, rehumanized? gradual. Sorry? Gradual after the war, after the liberation, we started doing things and other things happened. And a normal life, you slept in a normal bed. Well, you know, I, I, you got liberated, yeah. right? You must have been absolutely starving, hungry, and everything else. You, was, what, what, how did you get to England? What did you do about food? No, oh, no, that, that's, that's, uh, that's all that happened already in November, but six months after that. What, when were you liberated? In? We were liberated in the uh, end of March, beginning of April. Tell him about in, what the... In, in, in Auschwitz. Uh, no, in Dachau, 45. Right. And, and he went to the... this march from Allah to Dachau. How, how many miles was that? Uh, no idea. Well, hundreds, hundreds. Days. 
How did you do that death march? How did you do that march? Days. Starving, no food, you were being given with one you loaf of bread within two people in yeah. the middle of March. Yeah. And he said, right, we're going on the march. You don't know where because if there's one thing you never ask, how long, where, and how much, or when. Because they just shoot you on exactly. the spot. So right. This is it, and you'll be going. And you, you, you know where you've been and you get there. Right. So we don't know. It took about, I think it took about four days. Right. In freezing cold in March in Germany, in Bavaria. Exactly, yes. It was absolutely awful. How, how did you, how did you say, you know, it gets minus two in London, I'm freezing and I'm wanting out, I'm really cold. I'm how, you, with hardly any clothes, starving, emaciated, hardly any clothing, how did you survive that? You tell me. You tell me. I don't know. All I know is, all I know is, I, all I wanted to do, Take one one step, another step in front, yeah, yeah, and try yeah, to learn, try going. to find an exit. Yeah. First of all, I never had, I never had the knowledge, the learning knowledge, or the the skillful knowledge from at my age to know different. All I want to know, I wanted to live. And how did you cope with the pangs of hunger in the first? <laughs> How well, you how, can I ask you? Yes. Can I ask you something? Yes. Yes. You tell me how do you, how do you, knowing very well that there is a Yom Kippur every day of it's your a, life. It's, yeah. Yes, exactly. It's true, yeah. And when the Yom Kippur finishes, far finishes, you can't fresh yourself up. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So how do you do it? Now this is why all you can see, all you think you give us hunger, filling your stomach, you're giving them the food. Hoping that the person you go to bed with dies overnight, wow. you can take his shoes or his food. Wow. Did you ever take their clothes to double up what you were wearing? In other words, put their clothes on your never. clothes? Or did I they, didn't, did they, because... Did the God, no, gods know that you wear two clothes and they'd have shot you? No, I never, I never did that. Why? I don't know. Did anyone do that? A, Yeah, of course you did. And you know, you know how they did with the person next door to you was dead? You could see the lice and the, the what's the name freeze, yes. leaving the body. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because they, you know they want blood. Wow. Warm. That's amazing. Well, that's what I'm saying. These things happen, which you you know you talk about Auschwitz. You know, it's. It's, no I can't. We have, we have you? no comprehension. No. We have no comprehension no. of what you went through. In that. Do you know something? And that's why I, I tried to come. Once Let us. Hello. You were saying about you wanted to say when you go into the barracks. Oh, here, yes. here we are. So you can let's go in and you can say what what yeah. it what happened. This one has a reconstructed box. It's not that's right. But it gives you an idea of what you've got. Are they in? Well, is this what you remember? Yeah. Hey, look. The thing in the middle. What the the, 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 oh, the bench the bench in the middle. So what? So what happened when you first arrived in here? Well, they first arrived here. The first thing he did, he went into the bench, and there was a, here the couple used to live here. The couple had his his, uh, his his office and bedroom here. He had all that space. Well, I think so. I don't yeah. know sure. Yeah. No, didn't either. And he got up and he said, "Come and come around us." And that's what he said. They said about uh, how many would be on one bunk. On one bunk. Well, all I know is we started off with five hundred, oh five hundred to start off with, and towards the end it ended up with nearly eight, nine hundred oh before, before we shipped out. So, you, oh. how do you sleep? Yeah, it's exhaustion. And do you, you, you know, you ever thought? Have you seen the the, the what the mattresses are? The slats. Slats, yeah. Slats. And didn't you fight for top bunks because they had di dysentery and exactly. Uh, so what happens when people did that from yeah, the top? Yeah. Oh. So where did we? Did you get? Because you were young, you presumably didn't get a top bunk. I can't remember. I can't remember. You can't remember where. And I don't think you were. You, you, I don't think you had a bunk permanently. Or were you? You didn't have your own space. No, you, you came in and then you and they what, didn't have a, a name and number with a key on it for yours. You just found some. So you just went where you could get. You could get. People and on the floor. <clears throat> not on the floor. You had to be in the bunk. And then because a couple went backwards and forwards, and there were two buckets in that end, two buckets in. And this was and this was all the warmth you had in winter. Yes. The Surprised they even gave you that. If it was on, I can't remember if it was on because it was here in the summer. Uh, yeah, so that yeah. wasn't on. So, but it must have been stifling in here in yeah. summer. How would you spend in here per day? No, that's not wrong. 
you had to get up in the morning and be out. And usually, and you came back just before dusk. What the, Sam, what time do you had to be back up in bed? What time? What time? If you were. Yeah, but well, just yeah. before dusk. No? Before dark, yeah. yeah after, yeah. after the roll call. After the roll call. You had a roll call, it could take yeah. a few while, then you had to go back to it. Yeah. But it was just thing wasn't it? It's it a, wasn't re a reproduction. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the same as this. was in here. Well, I don't remember because we were here in summer. It was well, too hot. It's, it's a very good reproduction of it. Mm -hmm. But the, so the bunkers, middle, exactly. the bunks, yes. The bunkers were there. How many people were here? Yeah. 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 I, I yeah. was lying in one of the bunkers. I was on top. So, and also, that's, that's it. And there was, there was a toilet like section at the side that the so brought away. Oh, out of here? Yeah. No, no. So uh, bench, you, there was one in front of the toilet. The bench is just in the middle. middle. Oh, that was in the middle. In, 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 in here, in here. Not in here, another block like this. Right, right. And the steps for washing. Yeah, but didn't people just go to the toilet? Yeah. 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 Just tell me. Were they wet? Yeah. If you did it in your chair, yeah. yeah. if you did it in your chair, yeah. what happened? So did so people just the rain they did it had diarrhea, which they did, or whatever it was, and they had that. What could they do? Lots of people died. But with all the time, what did this type do to you? Thank Howard, he arranged Howard? It. Yeah. Again? Was Again? No, that was Howard. Yeah. <laughs>
Can you hear now? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I take okay, okay, liberties to yeah. talk to you, but I feel as though my emotion is so high, I've got to. First of all, we got. I'm, I'm sure I, I, I can talk on all your behalf about thanking Clive for his wonderful effort in showing us here. But the most important thing, what I want to do is you. As you know, it's my very first time back here at Auschwitz. I was very, very reluctant and scared to come here because the emotions I'll take home with me. But as you can see, owing to all of you, instead of crying my heart out, I'm full of joy. And it's all thanks to you. And I want to thank you very much for helping me through this period. You know all the singing. I used to do this when I was like uh, 20. took your father and everyone in the... Oh, yeah, it would have been... Oh. They would have been hard. They, yeah. they would have struggled. Yeah. 
She converted to Hasidism because we saw the boys from the yeshiva bochers yeah. and she said that she doesn't like them because they don't believe in, in the Holocaust. I said, I'm one of them, I believe in the Holocaust. But anyway, she... <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,